All right, so what we're going to do right now is deal with our products controller. Um, and we're also going to take a look at models because models is what is where the, the classes go that deal with data, that deal with the database. So if we want to call, if we want to fetch all the products in the database um, in the con products controller, then we need to reach into the products model and get it and then pass it to the view. All right, so ultimately that's how MVC works. So let's open up controllers, products. I'm actually gonna delete the welcome controller. We don't need that anymore. All right, so this is the code from that we had in the last video. We were just passing the, the data um, name value of Mike into the products view. Um, obviously that's not what we want. Uh, what we do want to do is fetch all of um, all products. So we'll say get all products. All right. Now we need, like I said, we need to get them from the model, um, but we're going to store them in the data array because that's what's going to be passed to our view. So we're going to say uh, data products is going to be equal to this. Um, this product underscore model and then we'll call it get products all right so what this is essentially doing is it's going to look inside of the product model and it's going to look for the get products function that we're going to create all right so let's go ahead and open up let's go in models and we actually need to create it so we're going to create a new file and we need to call this product underscore model dot PHP. Typically a controller is usually plural. Uh, we have the products controller and then we have the, the product model, which is singular. And it doesn't have to be that way. That's just um, a really common naming convention with Code Igniter. All right. So what we're going to do is just like the controller, we're going to create a class and it's going to be called product underscore model and we need extends CI underscore model. All right, so let's create our get products um, function or method. And you'll see some real sim similarities with this and our last project. So public function. Now, the reason that I'm using underscores instead of camel case, um, in the last product, I pr uh, the last um, project, I probably would have done this, get products camel case, but Code Igniter has a convention of using underscores so when I use Code right, Igniter, so I usually up. use underscores. Um, totally optional. If you want to use camel case, that's fine. I just like to, to kind of match the rest of the code. All right, so Code Igniter uses what's called active, um, active record, which is kind of a, a shorthand way to deal with the database. All right, so let me give you an example. I'm going to say this. DB, okay, this should look really familiar because this is kind of what we did in the last project, except we said this DB query and then we put in whatever, select all whatever. Um, and you absolutely can do this with Code Igniter, but we can also use Active Record and we can use this DB select and then pass in what we want to select, which is going to be all. So we'll just pass in the asterisk. And then we can go down on the next line and say this db from products. All right, so um, just kind of a different way to deal with the database. And I actually like this way. I like using active record. Um, and then we're going to create a query variable and set that to this db get 
and then we're going to return uh, we're going to return query result alright so that'll return us um, the result rows so save that all right, so what we're doing is taking what we returned from that function in the model and storing it into the data array um, into the products key. And then we're passing the data array to the view. And then we can use this array, this returned array, inside of our view. So let's open up views and then products. And we can then use that product variable uh, in a for each loop because it's an array. So we can say PHP for each products as product. Okay, and then here we could say PHP echo. Um, product and this is going to be in object oriented form so we want to use this arrow uh, and then we can actually take any of the field names um, from our database let me just go to PHP my admin okay so if we go to databases and gaming gaming place and products, we can now get any of these fields that we want. Um, let's grab the title. Okay, so product title. And let's also just add a uh, line break after every title. So now if we go back and reload, um, undefined variable products for each products as product. Um, all right, I think the, the issue is we haven't loaded the model. You need to load your models um, just like your libraries and helpers. So we can either define it in our controller or we can auto load it. So I'm just gonna go to my auto load in my config folder and you wanna go down to models and you just want to put in the name of the model so quotes and then we want to put product underscore model all right so save that reload and now we have the titles printing out and we can grab whatever we want we can get the description we can get the image path um, anything in, in the products table so basically what I'm going to do is go back to my HTML. I'm going to open up index HTML. And I want to grab just one list item. Uh, I'm sorry, they're not in lists, but just one game. So from, let's see, this call for game, okay, with that has the, the game class. I just want to grab that because that's what I want to repeat. Okay, so copy that and go back to your view. And I'm just going to overwrite this. All right, so what we're going to do now is for each game that or product that's found in the products table, it's going to spit this out. Okay, so if there's 10 games in there, this will iterate 10 times. Um, but of course we want to change this content be, or else we just have 10 destiny games. We want uh, each and every game we have in our table. So we need to replace this with dynamic content. So PHP echo uh, product title. Okay, so that's the title. Let me copy that up here. I'll grab the price. Uh, the image, okay, I'm going to change the image name to uh, product image. And let's see, I think that's it. 
actually the images path we have to change. Um, we'll use the base URL. So PHP echo base URL function. And then it's going to go to the assets folders slash images slash products slash. All right. And the link, obviously, we don't want it to go to product HTML. Um, we want it to go to the details page, which we haven't created yet. So but let's just put the link in there. I'm going to replace this product HTML. OK, so we'll say base URL uh, and then products slash details um, slash. And then we want to echo out the pro the the product ID. So echo product ID. All right, so let's take a look. All right, so all these games are being pulled from the database. Now I'm going to add, I'm going to change the code up a little bit for the buttons. All right, so I'm going to replace it with a form. So in this game add div, I want to just go over this button. I'm going to replace it with a small form. All right, so it's a post form. It's going to go to base URL slash cart. So it's going to go to the cart controller and then the add function in the cart controller, which we did not create yet. Um, quantity, so we're going to have an input for quantity. Um, we're going to have a couple hidden inputs because we need to pass this info uh, to the cart. OK, so we have the item number, uh, the price and the title of the product and then just a submit button or an add to cart button. All right. So let's save that. Check it out. Um, all right. So we're just we just need to format this a little better. Uh, the prices, I'm going to move those up. Uh, the quantity input box should be shorter than that because I want it to go side by side with the cart button. So let's go into our CSS file, which is in the root, and then go to assets, CSS, custom. And it has a class of quantity, QTY. So I'm going to paste this in here. All right, so we're going to make the input box 40 pixels wide, dark gray for the color, and center the text. All right, so save that, reload. All right, so that looks a little better. I do want to move the price up. So let's go to the price, game price right here. And it's an absolute positioned element. So from the bottom, I want to go to 120. All right, so that looks better. And let's just add. Let's put I'll just put a line break after this quantity is separated from the cart. Uh, go right here. All right, so that's not working. Um, actually. In the CSS, let's just put a margin bottom for the quantity. That should work. There we go. All right, so we just need to move the price up a little more. So game price from the bottom, let's do 130. Uh, let's go a little higher. Let's do 145. There we go. All right, so next thing I want to do is we want to click on this on a game. And it's going to take us to the products controller, um, the details function, and then we're going to pass in the ID of the game. All right, and that should bring us to a details page uh, and show our details template. So let's do that now. So in the product controller, I'm going to create public public function details. 
and this is going to take in a parameter. It's going to take in an ID. Say get product details from the model. So we're going to create uh, a value in our data array. All right, and we'll give the key product, and then that's going to go to this product model, and we're going to create a method called uh, get product details, and we have to pass in this ID to it. All right, so then when we get that, we're just going to load a view. So I'm going to copy this. And we want the we want the details view for this. All right, so let's go create this function. Let's just copy it. Go to product model and say get single product all right so here we're going to use active record again in fact I'm just going to copy this and then change it up okay so we want to select all from products um, and then we need to put in a where clause so we can say this db where, all right, and what we want to do is the field that we want to search is id in the database, and we want to match it with our variable id, which is getting passed in here. And ultimately, this id is coming in through the, uh, through the URL, okay? You can see here it's going to 1, product 2, it's going to 2. All right, where ID equals ID, and then same thing, we're going to do query equals this DB get, uh, except now we're going to, um, we're going to return a row because this is only a single row, it's a single product. So save that, and this should be all set. So now all we need to do is our details template, or view, I should say details view. So in application, views, I'm going to create a new file and call it details.php. All right, so <clears throat> what I want to do is grab the HTML. Um, did we create that page? Oh, we called it product, that's right. So let's open that HTML up and we want to get Um, this right here, this row details, we want that all the way to, actually let me see where that div ends. Alright, so we're going to get from here to here. Copy that, paste it in the details view. Alright, so right now it's just static data. We obviously want to um, switch that up for our dynamically generated data. Let me just clean this up a little bit. I don't think Notepad++ has a format option, which they should. Well, maybe they do. All right, so let's save it just to make sure that the view is being read. So if we click on Watchdogs, it goes to our static content. Okay, we don't want Call of Duty. That's not the game we, we chose. So what we need to do is just replace this stuff. So we'll start with the title. Okay, and we're just going to say PHP Echo Product title okay let's see that make sure that that changed okay so it changed to watchdogs which is getting from the database um, let's put in the price let's just copy this ok 
Okay, the, de the description. I want to replace this text. Description. And the last thing I'm going to do is replace this form. I'm going to paste this in. And basically, it's doing the same thing. It's adding it to our cart. It's going to the cart controller, the add function. Um, and then it's bringing in the quantity, item number, price, title. And you can see that those are all coming from here. Uh, they're coming from the, the, the model and the database. All right, so let's save that. load looks good except for the image we just got to change the image tag the image um, location let me just copy from copy it from products whoops that that wasn't right we want it to go to assets slash images slash products. Mm -hmm. Okay. And there we go. Actually, wait a minute. No, we don't go. That's we still have the static image in there. The static image name. We gotta replace that. Echo product image there we go all right so we have our products uh, you know what I'm gonna go to the header include and make it so we can actually use these links so in layouts includes header uh, was the navigation I'm gonna change this to just my base URL Okay, and then for the home, same thing. And for create an account, I'm gonna have it go to user slash register, which we'll create in a little bit. So now we should be able to use this. Re okay, register is not there yet. All right, so our products, uh, as far as our display, our product display, uh, is is pretty much complete so in the next video uh, I want to have these right now these categories are just uh, static I want these to be pulled from the database as well as the most popular alright and then what I want to do is work on the cart class uh, so we can actually add these to our cart and we can update and go to the cart edit it change the quantity, things like that. So we'll get into that next.